nostrils. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling great? Are you feeling fucking fabulous? I hope so, because that's the fragrance we're reviewing today by Tom Ford. Fucking fabulous. The fragrance that will indefinitely get me demonetized on YouTube. Might want to put those kids to bed now, parents. It's going to be an explicit one. Hi. Welcome to the fucking Nashville Nose. I'm your host, fucking Dr. Magnificent. What? That's my name. I can't wait to finally try Tom Ford's fucking fabulous. I also can't wait to edit this video where I'll have to bleep myself every 10 seconds. I even put a little tape over the, uh, you know, the naughty word. But I love that about Tom Ford. He's always pushing the edge, always doing crazy stuff, always theming his fragrances after something a little <laughs> naughty. And I'm all for it. I'm an eccentric weirdo. So is Tom Ford. His fragrances just connect to me. I love it. I'm all about it. Stay weird, Tom. Stay crazy and stay, well, fabulous. <laughs> but for the sake of having a channel on YouTube, I just took all necessary precautions. This one has been on my radar for a long time. I hear a lot of incredible things about the scent. I also haven't really stumbled on a precise description of this scent. Everyone kind of gets something different from it. So yeah, I'm stoked to finally try it and finally feature it on my channel, even if it requires a lot of bleeping. Let's f it up. Oh, <laughs> And now that I took the censorship tape off the plastic, I gotta make a new one for the box. And I'll have to make a new one for the bottle at some point. Just stick that on there. You're not making my life easy, YouTube. No, it's okay. This is a family-friendly channel. So yes, typical Tom Ford private blend box, only it's all black with the Tom Ford on the top and the label that I so crudely edited in white. And I believe the bottle is the same color. Let's check it out. Hold on. I need more tape. Try to center it a little bit better here. Oh, no, that looks terrible. <laughs> Let me try it again. There we go. That looks pretty fucking good, I think. And just like every Tom Ford private blend bottle, the bottom also doubles as a pedestal if you want to keep it in that. I don't. Just like the box, it's all black all the way around except for the white label in the middle. I love how the plate on top that says Tom Ford is also black. And the glass is like, uh, you know, satin finish. Feels pretty good to the touch. And of course, we have a black atomizer. So yeah, this one is pretty mean looking. I'm loving it. Oh, sorry. Pretty fucking mean looking. I'm fucking loving it. Oh God, if this video actually makes it on YouTube, it'll be a miracle. Let's give the cussing a rest and diagnose, shall we? The doctor is now in. Oh, <coughs> that was instant. <coughs> okay, pretty strong on performance so far. I mean, at least in the uh, first blast, leaving quite a siage. Whoa! What is going on here? Wow, this is a uh, kind of a mystery scent. I don't know what I'm smelling right now. Smells a little floral, a little sweet. Hmm. Huh, what is going on here? There's a floral in here that smells familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. This sweetness though smells very familiar. I'm wondering if there's almond in here. And I'll tell you why, because it's reminding me a little bit of Pegasus by Parfums de Marley. <laughs> has a similar kind of creamy, nutty sweetness. I really dig though so far. Yeah, this is good. And it smells like it will perform pretty well. It, it seems on the stronger end, which is always nice when a Tom Ford performs well. I don't know, we'll see though. Actually, something is uh, something is smelling kind of minty, almost kind of menthol-y. I don't know if there's a mint note in there. We'll, we'll see in a second. <laughs> it's, I don't, it's just all over the place. I don't know what's going on. A little bit chaotic. I mean, I guess it fits the name. It doesn't just smell fabulous. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay, I am way too curious what the heck is in this thing, so I need to look up those notes right now. Okay, pulling up the... Yes! Look at that! Almond! There's an almond note in here! I don't like... Ha ha! It was that Pegasus comparison. That's what uh, made me think of it. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we have lavender. Oh, okay, maybe that's the floral note that I was thinking of. Okay, now I see that. Definitely should have called that lavender because Lavender Extreme by Tom Ford also popped into my head. Yeah, a little similar. This one is much more sweet. F-dubs is a little bit more uh, herbaceous and spicy. Are there any spices in here? Oh, we have Clary Sage. Maybe that's providing the herbaceous nature. Oh, also Oris. I guess it's providing the powdery 
sturdiness. Also claims of leather? Not getting leather yet. Tonga bean, which I'm sure is doing a lot of heavy lifting in the sweetness department. We have white woods, amber, and cashmere. Oh, cashmere makes a lot of sense. I don't know really what cashmere smells like on its own, but I've smelled it in a lot of other fragrances. And it does kind of give off that uh, kind of a chaotic scent. So I'll bet that's pretty prominent in this blend. At least that's my best educated guess. Also not seeing mint or menthol or anything even remotely close to that. So I don't know what's giving me that. Maybe that's just the way it's reacting to my skin, but it has a, this slight cooling effect to it. I don't know from where. Maybe cashmere. Ah, I like the direction this is going. I'm hoping the woods and the leather come out more as it dries down. All right, well, there's only one thing left to do. Well, there's a couple things left to do, but the next thing to do is to step away and give this plenty of time to slow cook on the skin. Let's see what kind of ride fucking fabulous will take us on. Hold on right there. Be right fucking back. All right, I'm fucking back. And this thing is fucking phenomenal. I am a big fan. What a win from Tom Ford. I mean, I'm not entirely surprised. I've blind bought a lot of Tom Fords and the majority of them I end up really loving. Performance is also fantastic. Also getting more sweetness from like, you know, the Tonga bean and vanilla and the amber has warmed it up and rounded it out nicely. Yeah, it just starts to get real smooth and easy and pleasant. When I first sprayed it on inside my mind, I was envisioning this like static. This like white noise or something. And that's not the case anymore. I would say now it's just a sweet tonka bean cashmere in amber with a nice woody backbone and just a touch of leather. But it does seem like the almond has remained throughout the life. All right, I think I'm ready for my final fucking thoughts. Fucking fabulous. Fuck yeah. Should I add a counter? How many times have I said fuck in this video? Let's put a counter down there. Thank you. It's incredibly unique. It's sweet and lovely and pleasant, playful, flirty, just fantastic all around. If you see it in your local mall, explicit or edited, just fucking try it. Try it. It's worth a try. You should absolutely try it. If the name scares you, then well, sucks to be you. And if you do try it, Tell me what you think in the comments. Also, please subscribe. Fucking subscribe. Fucking do it right fucking now. Right fucking now. And I'm definitely getting fucking demonetized. So will you please give me a like and ring the bell? I'll take all the help I can get, especially now with those algorithm gods. I'm sure they're not too happy. If you could also share me with all your fucking pheromone challenge friends and family, blast me out on them fucking socials. That would be most appreciated. As much as I would appreciate seeing you next time. Hopefully I'll still have a channel. <laughs> and I guess my only two bits of advice for now will be stay fabulous and stay smelly. The doctor is out. Go. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucked.